Well, I was working in a lab and started to understand the nature of epigenetics. It also isolated me from my own scientific community because I was talking about the fact that genes at that time, 1970, I said, the genes are not that, that important. And of course, the whole world's into genetics and I'm the only weirdo going, genes, that's not where it's at because my research revealed that the environment was adjusting the behavior and development of the cells in my tissue culture. So I started to recognize, oh, wait a second, it's not the genes controlling, it's the environment, but I'm the only guy saying this. And at some point, there was a lot of uh, kickback from my colleagues who looked at my stuff as totally absurd. And I thought, my life is working so much better than it was before these principles that I might be wrong, but I prefer the way I'm living now than doing the old genetic dogma story uh, that I was actually controlling my life. I thought this was great. But the way to get it out of that little small community of scientists was really to try to make a public presentation. So I was given an opportunity to go to San Francisco and have a big presentation at a big conference on energy and crystals and stuff like that. And I thought, well, there's going to be an audience there, energy and crystals. Like, OK, this, everything I'm talking about in biology, man, I was so excited. And I thought, this is my great opportunity. And it was like, like three months before. And I thought, OK, I'll, I'm going to work on this. And then it, I just let it go, I let it go, and now we're getting to a month before. And I said, oh, I gotta work on my, what's my seminar going to be, what's my seminar? And all I had in my head was, okay, this was a new agey kind of thing. So I thought, well, back then, what the heck was new agey? I said, oh, that's where they wear all white, white shirts and white pants and a white vest, white clothes, you know, and that they're so delicate and they speak in a very quiet tone and they're so, New agey. And that really wasn't me. I was like the bull in the china shop. You know, it's like, hey, let me out. And it goes, no, no, that's, no I got to calm down. I got to be cool. I'm going to present this in a new age fashion. So I tried to formulate a new age me to present this. Well, now it's about a week before this conference. And it's like my new age me has not come up with any idea of how to present this. And then it started to get closer, and it was just a few days away. I'm going to go to San Francisco. I was like, oh, my God, I don't have a talk. And I just said, forget it. Let me just be me. I just want to talk the way I want to talk. I'm not going to conform to be some new age guru. That's not me. I'm a science guy, and I'm going to say what I want to say. And finally, in that moment, it was just a couple of days before, and all of a sudden I said, that's it. No more new age. Let's, uh, let's write this. And the moment I let go of some persona I was supposed to be, and just said, now, nah, I'm just gonna be me. All of a sudden, the words started coming out. I can remember I grabbed a yellow pad and I had a pen, and the words started coming so fast. As soon as I said, stop being new age guy, start being Bruce, the words started coming page after page. I was right, I had like four or five pages of notes, 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 notes. Like, after all those months, it was sort of like, okay, it was a little constipated in my consciousness, you know? But it all of a sudden freed up. And it's why I am not them, I'm me. <laughs> and try to act like somebody else took away everything I was. And that was at the point that I said, oh my God, I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna alter who I am. I love this research. I'm not gonna tailor it for, <laughs> for that audience. And it was so wonderful because there were three months where it was just logging back in my head, back in my head, yeah, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, like, didn't wanna do it, why? Because at some level, the first thing was, I'm gonna be somebody else, I'm gonna be Mr. New Age Guy. Ha! The moment I let go of being somebody else and became me, then all the words came down. And it was the most exciting presentation, I'll never forget it because of very two reasons, one, the audience was just being introduced to a whole new thing called epigenetics 20 years before epigenetics was even recognized. I was giving them, here's the new science. And they were, it was cool because it fit the whole new age idea of consciousness. I said, well, that's it. Uh, and then I said, well, what was, what was the second thing that was so exciting? I said, well, before I was going to go on, uh, my friend who was with me introduced me to an author of one of the many books on crystals. Uh, and my friend said to him, you should come in here, Bruce is talking. And, and the guy looked at me in a strange way and he goes, it's too explosive. And, I, and he said, what do you mean it's too explosive? He said, something, I, I can't go. I'm not going to this talk. I got some, you know, it was like, what? Okay, who cares? 
I go into that cock, and I'm excited as anything, and I start talking, I have a big screen and a pointer, and I'm talking and talking about my new stuff, and I'm so excited. I didn't realize that the riser that I'm standing on was in front of some curtains but that I thought was the wall. The curtains were on the wall. And as I got toward the back of the riser pointing to the screen, uh, I didn't notice that there was no floor. <laughs> when I took one more step, I took one more step, and all of a sudden my foot went straight down and, and it hit the floor. And I, 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 I was lost. It was funny because a friend of mine sitting in the audience said, you were just getting to the point, and then all of a sudden you disappeared. Nobody understood. I mean, it was like magic. I was there, and then boom, I was gone because now I'm under the riser, and everybody's going, where did lift go? And they came and helped me, and they picked me up and pulled me up on top of the riser, and I tried to stand, and I couldn't stand on my leg, so they got me a chair. I said, don't worry. I'll use a pointer. And gave, I, I was so excited to finish it. Later to find out, because uh, I had to go back to the Caribbean where I was living at that time, uh, and I said, well, I just need a big ace bandage to tie this up because my knee is really messed up a little bit, and ace bandage. And so we, the guy said, no, we better take you to a hospital. And I go, oh, okay. And so I go to the hospital. I remember they, they said, well, let's take a look at it. They uh, took an x-ray, and then I'm sitting with the guy who put the conference on in the chair in the hospital waiting for them to come back. And I'm thinking, okay, listen, i got to go back to the Caribbean in a few hours, more or less. Uh, and I'm sitting in a chair, and the guy comes back and says, oh, we've scheduled surgery for you tomorrow morning at 6.30. I go, you got the wrong guy. I just, I got just twisted my knee. It just, you know, he said, "Oh no, you broke the uh, the the tibia plateau, which was holding up the bone on the top, and my patella, my kneecap fell, and I, it, it was completely damaged." I didn't feel it. I didn't even know it. Why? The intensity of <laughs> presenting the lecture was so high that even though I shattered my leg, I didn't even know I did that. And it was so, so like amazing, but the, the point is, of course, I'll never forget that because people say, hey, break a leg, and I go, nope, I already did that one, I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, but it was really, really an exciting moment. I opened up the world to a new idea and also uh, broke my leg. And while I was sitting in the hospital waiting, I had a Louise Hayes book, and I looked under because she has, each part of the body has some particular psychological influence. And I had right knee, and guess what it said? Pushing on the universe. I was pushing this so hard on the universe to push, the universe pushed me back. <laughs> Taught me a lesson, it's like, don't be so pushy, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> but the point about it was simply this, it was the opportunity to provide something so brand new to an audience that was so unaware of everything I was talking about because everything was genetically controlled and that means we're victims of our heredity and then I'm come up on the stage and say new age idea that's wrong it's consciousness that's creating this and it was like uh oh world change <laughs> and uh, yeah and to mark that world change the universe pushed me off the stage so otherwise everything was cool <laughs>